What's up everyone? Now today we're going to talk a little bit about the Nissan Skylines or specifically the RB26's oil pump failure and some ways to prevent it and what really to look for if you have issues. Now of course it's a problem that people ask about all the time when they're going to purchase a GTR. They want to make sure that oil pump's been serviced or replaced or whatever, but a lot of times people don't realize that that's a really big job and more often than not people aren't just going to replace it on a whim unless they're really looking to build their cars. But we'll go in a little bit more detail about what the oil pump is and why it fails so much. So the first interesting thing about the oil pump is that Nissan themselves actually addressed the problem and replaced it in 1991 and a half. So any car that was produced in late 1991 or later actually has a replaced upgraded oil pump from the factory. That being said, Nissan never really fully fixed the oil pump. It still had problems basically through the life of the RB26 in total. So here's the culprit. This is what an oil pump looks like, albeit an upgraded one from HKS which is usually a safe bet if you're looking to build your car up to high horsepower. So what does the oil pump do? Basically, this pushes oil up to the top of the head. One way these things fault is on early production, they have a shorter nose for the gears. When people smack the red line over and over again, this actually causes a lot of vibration and causes this very fragile part to actually wear itself out and then eventually slip. If your oil pump is to seize or those gears break, basically what happens, and this is coming from experience, you have a rod find daylight. It makes a little pop and your motor seizes up completely and at that point your motor's basically done. You have to rebuild the whole thing and that's very expensive and time consuming and quite frustrating quite frankly. Now mind you a lot of times people panic because they think oh man I gotta get a car with an upgraded oil pump or I have to change it out myself. If you have a factory car and you're not planning on driving it hard realistically it's not anything to worry about even if it's a pre-1991 production that has an original design oil pump. This really becomes a big problem when people are looking to make more power or they drive their cars really hard. Again, smacking the red line over and over again with any factory oil pump will likely cause it to fail at some point. The RB26 is a great motor, but by no means is it perfect. Obviously, like any machine, they all have some sort of flaw. And this really was a big one for the RB26. Watch, now that I've said it, everybody that owns one that's about to run out and buy a new oil pump and spend hours and hours on their car to get it all fixed up and get an oil pump replacement. Again, it's not entirely necessary, but if you're looking to drive your car hard or make a lot of power, we do recommend upgrading it at some point. It'll save you some money in the long run, and will actually save you a really big headache if your motor blows. Now, how can you tell if your oil pump's about to fail? Basically, what you'll want to look for is your oil pressure gauge on your dashboard. If you notice the oil pressure drops completely, then there's a chance you might have some oil pump failure. That being said, R32 Skyline GTR gauges aren't always the best and we'll actually do a video of that in the near future. If it's a big concern of yours, it might be a good idea to install some sort of an aftermarket gauge that has a little bit more accuracy than the old factory ones. Hopefully we didn't scare you about the Skyline GTR, but it's always good to be informed before making a purchase. If you haven't already subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you can get more videos like this in the future. Thanks for watching this video, and have a good one.